Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy A hey, on for 20 bringing you guys some more top tier banner on the weekly transactions. Yes, Tom, I have that too. You're not the only one. So, we are here for some top tier banner though on the weekly transactions this season. For season 3 of the GBA D League, because of you guys and your amazing love last season, I decided to come back because you all love me and I love doing this and I love doing it for you guys as an audience of the GBA and you know, all of you guys seem to really enjoy me on transactions last season, so when we were looking for who was going to do what, I was like, you know what, I kind of want to do transactions again, because you all seem to really like me on that. I'll be helping out more, obviously, with the GBA channel, being my second season, a part of the GBA, so make sure to check out the rest of the shows this season, and see the other analysts, because they all do a great job, although, without further ado, let's get into the actual transactions, what you guys came for. So, of course, week one, there's always that guy who changes his team week one, because he realizes a flaw in his team. That guy being Randy, and while Randy's team definitely isn't bad, uh, it definitely had areas that can improve, being the area of having three water types and a decent electric weakness on the team that also has Tapu Koko, which boosts electric type attacks because of the electric terrain. And while you could say that could be alleviated by just not bringing Koko or not bringing all three water types in the same week, that's still a very big problem to have, because let's say he needs one of the water types, being, let's say, Empoleon, and he's like, okay, I don't need Jellicent anymore because I have my defensive water type for this game, so now I'm forced to bring one of my other mons, being eight other mons I could pick from, assuming I don't want to bring another water type this game. So luckily for Randy, though, he actually drops one of his water types, being Empoleon, and he picks up a little in muck for it. Now, I really like this pickup for a low in muck. Uh, his main reasons for doing it was because he realized as he was drafting his mons, he knew that Jellicent would have fit better immediately after dropping Empoleon. So he had thought about dropping Empoleon for low in muck, well, actually, and as soon as he drafted it, uh, Empoleon, to be honest. So I think it was a really solid pickup. He really likes the pursuit option, and he likes the option for another backup to fairies. Well, I can say Alolan Muck is a neutral resist to fairies. That thing still takes on every single Tapu in the game, and those are definitely the better fairies right now. Obviously, you know, if it could take on those, it could definitely take on, for example, uh, Gardevoirs, Mega Gardevoirs. Uh, I'm drawing a blank on fairies right now. Uh, Granville, I guess. It could take on Granville. Well, probably not really Granville, because Intimidate also is pretty beefy physically. But it might. Uh, actually, Granville also gets Earthquake, so Granville maybe not. But Gardevoir, for example, really any special fairy it could take on phenomenally. Also, the fact that he had three waters, as I mentioned previously, so you don't really want to have three waters in your draft. Bulky waters are really nice, but that doesn't mean you get three of them. Just because it's nice to have like a ground type or a flying type doesn't mean you just want to keep getting lots of that type, because it's going to be easier to prep around you, especially when, for example, with Randy, all of his water types were to electric. Had it been, let's say, Swamper, Empoleon, and I don't know, uh, Jellison, at least he has one of those that's immune to electric type attacks. And for example, Empoleon would be resistant of, uh, of grass type hits. Well, neutral grass, but still, its water aspect would at least be alleviated in grass type hits. So, overall, I really like this trade that Randy made. I like how it gives him some more special bulk. It's a really nice mon overall in a low muck that will be on Randy's team, replacing Empoleon. He still has adequate hazard removal, I feel like, and also decent walling options. As I said, he had Jellison earlier, so it's another really bulky special water type. So it, everything besides a hazard removal, Jellison already covers that employee I would do. Actually, I guess also not rocks, but I'm not too sure if Randy will mind having one less rock setter. Though, to be fair, he definitely was at least a little limited before, but at the same time, he still at least has spikes from Cloyster, so he has other water type hazard setting, even if it's not stealth rock. So I think that Randy will make this work, uh, maybe he can pick up some, some other rock setters later in the season, but overall I can't wait to see how he uses this trade, and I wish him luck in the rest of his season in the GBA D League. Now if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below. Make sure to subscribe to the GBA channel so you can keep up with any other analyst shows along with mine next week when we can see the week 2 transactions. Follow the GBA coaches, there are links in the description below. Without further ado, I will see you guys next time. Peace out, all you beautiful faces.